Let's talk about how to create new empowering habits. What is up my fellow goal getter? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on becoming a goal getter, make sure you subscribe because we're about to get started right now. The key to breaking a bad habit is simple. It's by replacing a bad habit with a good habit. No matter what we do, we're gonna replace habits with other habits because we are creatures of habit. We're habitual in everything we do. So the key is to consciously decide what you replace that bad habit with. You know, many smokers, after they quit smoking, they end up gaining weight because they didn't consciously choose what to replace that habit with and they end up choosing to overeat excessively and they gain weight. Uh, me personally, when I quit smoking, I wasn't able to quit smoking until I replaced that bad habit with an empowering one, which was doing push-ups, because I figured out what it was, that craving that I was craving each time, and, and where I got my satisfaction from, from that craving, which was, it wasn't smoking the cigarettes, it was the stimulation of smoking the cigarettes. You know, when I smoked the cigarette, I would be stimulated, and that's what I was craving over and over again and until I replaced that with doing push-ups where I got that same stimulation afterwards from releasing those endorphins within my body then I was able to finally overcome this. After years of training, yes there were other things involved but that was a key component into, be, into making this change and today we're going to talk all about that. Now before we get to talking all about that, if this is your first time here and or if you haven't downloaded my free Goal Getter Cheat Sheet yet, I would highly encourage you to do so right now. This is a step-by-step -step process that I designed after years of going through all the trials and tribulations that I went through and stress and, and finally able to, to take my life from being a drug addict and spending over five years in prison to making that transformation in my life and becoming a successful entrepreneur and responsible father. This is the step-by-step -step process that I created and it will help you rise up, break free, and dominate life. And you can get it right here. Like we mentioned earlier, if we break a limiting pattern enough, our brain will automatically start searching for the replacement in order to attain that pleasure that it's seeking. We are literally engineered as humans to avoid pain and to gain pleasure. We make all of our decisions based on this. Every single thing that we do is based on, is this gonna cause me pain and is it gonna, is it gonna lead to pleasure? That's how we make all of our decisions. So if we break up our pattern enough, our brain's automatically gonna find something else to replace it with. And if we don't consciously decide what it is that we're gonna replace that with, we can end up with another limiting pattern, another, like, we could re like I did with smoking. Um, I replaced that with eating for a while oh, and, and got out of shape until I was able to consciously decide and replace that with doing some push-ups and getting the simulation. It wasn't working for me. Now that we know that we have to consciously decide um, what the alternative that we're going to replace this limiting pattern with, now that we know that we have to consciously decide that, it's just a tad bit more complex than that because it sounds easy and great and all that, but it's just... There's, a, there's another step that we have to take. It's still simple, but we have to take it one step further. And what that is, with me for an example, with smoking, it wasn't smoking that, that I was desiring, that my brain was, was uh, seeking pleasure for. I didn't gain pleasure from actual smoking the, the cigarette. It was how the cigarette made me feel, the stimulation that I received after smoking the cigarette that I was desiring that, that <clears throat> my brain associated pleasure with. So I identified the craving. That's what we got to do. We had to identify exactly what it is about that limiting pattern that is causing us to, to desire it. And then once we identified that and, and, and got that isolated, then we can go and find an, an alternative that is actually empowering, that's adding value to us instead of subtracting. So with me, with the push-ups, I still got stimulation from doing push-ups, just like I got stimulation from smoking cigarettes. However, the push-ups actually added value to my life. It, it, you know, it, it made me healthier in shape, all the good things that come with exercising. So find what it is, isolate, 
the exact craving and what you're desiring from the limiting pattern and find an alternative that is actually empowering you. That's the key right there. That's simple as that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos that are going to help you transform your life and make and find empowering alternatives to your limiting patterns, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anybody that could benefit from hearing this, this message, please share it with them because you never know what the right message for the right person at the right time can do. And I appreciate you greatly. Keep crushing those goals, rise up, break free, and dominate life. And I will see you next time, my friend.